Hello and welcome back to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Neverwinter Tonight's Enhanced Edition. I'm your host, Lord Fenton. Today's Neverwinter Tonight's Enhanced Edition uh, video, we're going to go over the five tones and what you can make from them. And we're going to end chapter three. Yes, we're going to end that chapter uh, two and see a nice cutscene. As always, like, comment, and do subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Tonight's content like this. So here's the thing I'm going to show everybody the locations once again where the tomes are at. So this way you memorize them well so what i'm going to do right now is go ahead and get to the first location in the uh, video which is close by before i actually do uh go fast forward to uh the uh, tomes how to use them at b runas well yeah the town where you start out when you uh get out of the henchman lodge this is where you want to be at for the tome of boots yeah you heard me right this is where you want to go ahead and loot this crate up once you uh, do that, then you got your first tome of the uh, chapter. I did a little bit late because I was busy doing other things. But this is the very first one. And there you uh, go. We're going to go ahead and get the second one. For the tome of power, you want to do is watch out for the fire trap. And that's where this tome is at in uh, Colwood Leninia's tomb. Yep. Go ahead and get the sarcophagus and get the tome. And that is really uh, simple. We're going to get to the next one. Now, for the next tome called Tome of the Robe in the uh, Fort Illark Homestead, check the Destroy Homestead where, where the dog is at. And you want to do is go ahead and loot the uh, location where I'm about to show you all. Grab that tome once you uh, do that. That's it. That is uh, really simple. That is three down, two to go. For the Tome of the Amulet location, you want to be in the Creator Race Ruins. That's in the Fort Illark area. Just remember, it is in the present version. Go ahead and loot the stack of books, and it's real simple to get that Tome. So we're going to get the final one. For the last and final Tome, Tome of the Ring, you want to be in Moonwood, Spy of the World, in the Brass Dragon Cave. Yeah, that's the one with the dead dragon in there you already discover. So... What we're going to do is go ahead and get towards a corpse. Yep, you heard me right. There is a corpse that has the uh, tome. So we're going to reach there, and there you uh, go. Loot up that nice uh, body, and you have the final tome. So now I'm going to do is show you how to make the uh, five items for this uh, video before I do end the chapter. Great news is those tomes are just for hints. So I'm just going to show you how to make the uh, items. You want to do is when you get to the wizard chest, in order to make the staff of power, you need two Bodoc's teeth. Two of them cast Feeble Mind spell on the wizard chest and you get yourself a nice staff of power. Now for gargoyle boots, you need a gargoyle skull and a bodox tooth. Cast stone skin spell on the wizard's chest and you get yourself a nice pair of boots. So we're going to get to the next item to make. For the amulet of natural armor plus five, you need a fen berry and a slag tongue. Cast beige armor spell on the wizard's chest and you get yourself a nice amulet. For the Ring of Regeneration, you need a Fenberry and a Rashkisha's Eye. Cast Melv's Acid Arrow Spell on the Wizard's Chest, and you get yourself a nice ring that regenerates your health. Last but not least is the Crystal Robes. You need a Fire Buell Belly and a Quartz Crystal. Cast a Everation Spell on the Wizard's Chest, and you get yourself a nice robe. And that's it for the five items. So I'm just going to demonstrate to uh, everyone next is... Uh, the uh, process on how to actually make each and every one of them and i did organize nice my inventory great news is most of those items are in the shop the uh, worst part is you might have to go to the previous locations in order to find them as for the spells most likely you gotta hang on to them from other chapters if you uh do not for some reason you better hope you memorize them and only sorcerers wizards and bards could uh do this now i have a fighter levels and my uh Red Dragon Disciple levels, so I have a bar level, so I got lucky on that. Otherwise, I just show you the, the uh, recipe just like I showed you, and that's it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the items in. You do not need to put the tome in. That is the great news. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cast that spell, and we're going to do it now. And here's the demonstration of it, and voila. And we're going to grab our Staff of Power. Yeah, that's the first item. Some of these items are actually uh, pretty good for these classes. I mean, especially that ring is nice if you decide not to uh, use the other ring. So just cast the next one, like I uh, previously said. Gargoyle Skull, Bodas Tooth. And uh, cast that nice uh, spell I just did. And there you go for the Gargoyle Boots. And I'm going to do is the next one is the Fen Berries and the Slad's Tongue. And we're going to cast Mage Armor since I already got that memorized. Yeah. And there's your Amulet 
plus five of natural armor, which is nice. I mean, some of these times, I'm going to be honest, though, if you're one of those three classes, that's good. Now, if I remember right, you could uh, play this uh, multiplayer, at least the original campaign, and if you have a wizard friend, bard friend, or sorcerer friend, you could ask them nicely and make those items for you. And that's your ring of regeneration. So I'm just showing you this all off to see it like the proof is in the pudding. Yeah, that it works. And I'm going to do this. And there you go. Not a decent set of robes. I say out of the five items, the robes are uh, a little bit of the weakest, but I mean, it's not bad. So the uh, stats for the Staff of Power is there. This is uh, very nice. Has some spells you could cast. Gargoyle boots. They're uh, good. Stone skin's really nice, too. The uh, Amulet of Natural Armor Plus 5 is good. Ring of Regeneration is great. And yeah, let me do this again because my uh, Potion of Lore just ran out of uh, time. Oops, and this one's uh, good too. Uh, spell Focus, Divination. That's not bad too. So in all, we are done with officially the uh, tomes. Yeah. And that's all the activities for this uh, chapter. So just remember, if you're wearing heavy armor, make sure you equip that back. Otherwise, just go ahead and turn the third words of power. We're going to do uh, just that. Now, I'm going to give everybody one final warning. Once you turn in the third words of power, you're in chapter four. You're kind of locked in towards end game. So do everything. I mean, do everything before you actually uh, turn in the final words of power. If you turn it in, the chapter ends. So we're going to go ahead and speak to our spy master and give him the great news. And we're going to go ahead and turn in the... Uh, Third words of power. I'll return after the chapter four starts. I have just received the latest reports from the battlefield, and things are grim. The walls of Neverwinter have been breached, and the Lord's Alliance has retreated to Castle Never under the onslaught. Death, death with her intimate knowledge of our strategies, crushes our forces in every encounter. Half the city is under the control of her Luskan forces. And what of your mission? Have you found the success our troops have not? Finally, some good news. And not a moment too soon. Even now, I am preparing to leave for Castle Neverwinter to help ensure the words I sent there for safekeeping are not captured by Erebeth. I might as well open my coffers to you before we go. The money was meant to fund the defense of the city, and you seem to have done more for that cause than anyone else. Better I give the funds to you than let the Luskan forces loot them. Whatever awaits us, I just want to tell you that I have been proud to serve at your side. I have 5,000 gold pieces here. Take it. You have truly earned it. And there is more where that came from, if you accompany me to Neverwinter, to aid in defending the city. The Lord's Alliance desperately needs someone such as you. I wish I had something to give you, but all such items have been sent to the battlefronts to aid in the war effort. Time grows short. We must return to Castle Never, to defend its walls and the words of power within, from Arameth and Malcolm. We will leave right now, if you are ready. I only hope we are not too late. The words of power, the tools of a creator race. Hadrilene spoke of them as though they could shape worlds, and perhaps they had. With these in hand, victory would not be far behind, or so it was thought. While Erin Gend searched for the ancient relics, Morgrim's army pressed their attacks against Neverwinter. Their dark magics and sheer numbers soon overwhelmed the defenders. The betrayer, Erebeth, was at the forefront when the walls were breached. The words of power, once thought safe within Castle Never, were in danger of falling to the enemy. And behind the invasion, an even greater evil, Morag, Queen of the Old Ones, had awoken.
So what went down in this short Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition video for uh, Chapter 3 and well we did the five tones. I'll show you all the recipes for those, demonstration of the uh, items, and we ended Chapter 3. In our next video we'll be getting the beginning of the end which is Chapter 4. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left and on the bottom left if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.